As part of efforts to ensure continuous peaceful coexistence and harmonious relationships among Kaduna residents and the nation at large, Kaduna State Peace Commission has called on the federal government, states, and stakeholders to use non-violent and dialogue approaches to resolve lingering crisis, communal crisis, and violence in communities. They say the method adopted by the commission has helped to identify threats to peace, which is the major mechanism in resolving violent attacks in the state. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Durafai's report is presented from our studios. Communal clashes and religious and ethnic violence have been identified as major threats to the peaceful coexistence and development of any community, and is the need to promote peace irrespective of background. Speaking on a peaceful dialogue with stakeholders in Kaduna, the Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Dr. Saleh Momale, stated that the state has witnessed an upsurge of violence leading to loss of lives and properties, and that the Commission is working with the state government and other agencies to ensure that peace is returned to affected communities. In 2022, the state has witnessed challenges in the maintenance of law and order, which has been worsened by criminal activities associated with raiding of villages, kidnapping of persons for ransom, attacks on security operat operatives and critical infrastructure, rustling of cattle and other associated violence. There have also been incidences of intercommunal disturbances leading to killing of persons, damages to crops, burning and looting of settlements in some parts of the state. Momale also said that they are optimistic that the ongoing dialogue and peace processes in Atiap, Chawai, Periga, Kumana, Afantakad, Zigpak and also Nikiob chiefdoms will soon restore these areas affected to the path of sustainable peace and asked state government to provide sufficient funding, technology and human capital to end the insecurity bedeviling the country. That the ongoing dialogues and peace processes in Atiap, Chawe, Periga, Kumana, Afantakat, Zipak and Ningpop chiefdoms will soon restore these areas to the path of sustainable peace. The other conflicts in some communities of Sangha, Jama'a, Kauru, Kajuru and Igabi local government areas are being addressed through dialogue and engagements with key community gatekeepers. Also, the Permanent Secretary of the Commission, Ajia Khadija Jangambo, stressed the Commission's determination to ensure that the 2020 general election is conducted in a violent-free atmosphere. If you look at our reports now, you will see that there's a serious decline in communal conflicts now. And uh, even the insecurity, there's a serious decline. So uh, we are calling on the youth. We've always propagated this, that uh, uh, criminals and criminality will always thrive in places that have issues of conflict. So we can help ourselves, the citizens of Kaduna, if we stay peaceful, if we try to coexist with others peacefully and respectfully by not creating a conducive environment for criminals to take over. So I'm calling on the youth to desist from any criminal activity or any act of violence that may ignite uh, more conflict again, which will make uh, criminal activities to thrive in the state. Kaduna is one of the states in Nigeria that have suffered from religious, ethnic and communal clashes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.